Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Apologies it's been so long since my last update. I've been very, very busy and I also took some more time off work. Um, but I've been very, very busy behind the scenes. I just haven't had time to upload videos and photos and things like that. I'm quite bad with social media and being online myself personally. And when it comes to my business, I'm clearly even worse. <laughs> so apologies for that. Um, my intention going forward now is to do uploads every week. Um, I've got another upload for maybe towards the end of this week. I just have to put some more footage together and things like that. Um, and some more planned demos. But I have also been working on the guitars quite a lot. Um, I've now got another three or four bodies ready for paint. My intention is to mold maybe another two or three of those. So I have maybe six or seven guitars ready for paint in total and paint them all in quick succession. Just with a couple of variations we'd looked at and different bursts. And you know, a lot of that's learning technique and me figuring out the process. Um, but it'll also give me more content, more guitars, because I'm very conscious that I've just been showing the same blue guitar over and over again. Um, and I do have other guitars, they're just not the, the standard that I kind of want, but um, I also want to show those guitars at some point, um, just to show every step of the process along the way, and why it's taken me two years to get to this point, and then also what's unique and what's different about my instruments. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at, this is another test guitar, this is one I finished in, in clear there a few weeks ago, it's actually very dusty, but hopefully you can see the carbon weave um, is very very clear in it, um, particularly in the light, this thing really glows silver. Um, which I'm very very happy with. You know the clears I want to use are very very crystal clear, um, and they don't fog the carbon at all. So particularly the colors on this should really dazzle on the light. Um, but hopefully you can see it's still quite. Even though in here is quite dull, you can still see the carbon very very clear. Um, I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So this is an older body that I painted just for the sake of learning painting, as I said. Um, but I do have a lot more bodies now molded with like the, the newer internals and things like that and the different soundboard. Um, this was an early on one with a soundboard that um, whilst it was okay, it wasn't where I wanted it to be. So this was like an R&D body, it was very early in the process. So um, as I say, I'm probably going to start up with videos, maybe feature each step of the way, maybe show a different instrument or a different body that I've molded and then what was good about it, what wasn't good about it and then ending up with the, the final instruments where I'm at today. So yeah. Any comments, suggestions, or anything you want to see, as always, just let me know in the in the comments below, or message me, or my email address is always open. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully, you understand what I'm saying, and my accent isn't too bad. Um, maybe I'll add subtitles to this video. <laughs> so yeah, just record it on my phone, so so I don't think I'll do much playing demo or anything today for you, just because the sound on the phone isn't great. But I will do a bit more maybe in the near future on the camera with my proper mic and things like that. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys soon. Thanks though, bye.